Hey, 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 ladies, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to give you girls just a minute, just a minute to uh, log in. And so that way I've got some, some good stuff I want to share today with you. I'm excited about it. I'm just about to head out for walking, so hence why you see me here in my little jacket. And I'd probably come on anyways, even if, if I wasn't going walking. But I wanted to come in and share with you what came up for me last night. And so I want to talk to you about why you can't keep playing small. So um, if you haven't already registered with StreamYard, I want to invite you to register with StreamYard. So that way when you comment, I know who's commenting. Hey, Marcy. Hello, Facebook user from Pittsburgh. If you can, please register so that way I know what beautiful sisters are here with me. Um, I'm going to see if, okay, I did turn that down. Lou Ann, I see that's you, a new sister in the community. Welcome. For those of you who don't know me, I'm actually going to read my bio to you because it's a new bio. And um, so you just know a little bit about me. So my name's Dorothy Inez. That's my first name, not uh, Dorothy. Please, not Dorothy. Um, Dorothy Inez, and I'm a three-time international best-selling author, speaker, and confidence coach who helps high-achieving women and leaders in direct sales show up in video with more purpose, power, and presence through a spirit centered approach to personal presence. Um, I believe when you know who you are, you are able to show up with more boldness and be unapologetic about who you are and how you are here to serve. So that's a little, I've revamped my bio. You know, I have a coach. When you work with a coach, you get more and more and more clear. And for me, this year was about, because we have women that are in this group that have been with me for a while. And as you grow, this is the thing about this entrepreneurial journey. Don't worry about where you set your hat, your, your, your flag, rather, today, or lay your hat today. Um, because this is in a constantly evolving thing. What you'll find is you're going to keep doing the same thing, but how you call it or, you know, oh, your confidence coach, oh, your beauty and self-love coach, whatever it is, you still end up doing the same thing because that's what God called you here to do. So today I want to share what happened with me last night. Um, yeah, last night. And so last night, um, I actually on Monday, September 14th, I started, if you've been following me, you know, I've had this constant struggle and maybe some of you girls can relate this constant struggle with, um, my weight, with my health. So I know that I'm supposed to be a vegan, but I always end up getting anemic or something like that. So I signed up to, um, take a course, you know, with a nutritionalist on becoming a vegan. And she had us do this test called the blue zone. I think it's called the blue zone test, blue zone. And basically, let me tell you what the blue zones are. The blue zones are, it's based, the test is based on, it's about longevity, helping you to live longer. And so they go and they study people in Greece, Okinawa, Japan, um, Ikeria, Loma Lita, California, Costa Rica, and some uh, Nicola uh, Peninsula. And they see how these people are living longer based on diet, based on lifestyle. So I go and I do my test and I don't really know what I'm about to get, you know, because uh, I didn't read. I'm just like my coach says, take the test. I took the test. And this test, girls, revealed based on my current lifestyle, based on my current health, how long 
I could potentially live. Now, for those of you that don't know, I am, well, I'm about to be 54 years old, okay? Or fit in my case, 54 years young, okay? And so when I took this test, girls, this test revealed to me that based on my current lifestyle and eating, I have 20 years left. 74.6 is what it said. And of course, nobody can tell us when we're going to die. Only G-O-D knows that, right? But we want to still yield to information that we know so that we can improve our life. So it said there was, there was three numbers based on current 74.6. If I didn't get um, if I didn't get any types of diseases or anything like that, 80.3. And if I change my lifestyle, um, 97.1. This stopped me in my tracks. Not the 97.1, but the 74.6. You see, I'm 54 years young. I don't know how many years young you are, sister, watching this, but I know many of us, have, you know, many of you have come into my group because you're struggling with the area of confidence. And struggling in this area is holding you back from doing that thing that God has called you to. It's holding you back from showing up and if you're in direct sales, doing those parties, reaching out to those customers that you were meant to serve because we're caught up in different things. And what I realized is I have, if I live to 74, I have 20 years, 20 years left to accomplish what God put me here to do. And if I'm lucky, 26. Girls, I've lived more than that. You've lived more than that. And what I'm here to tell you, sisters, is no matter what, there is not a lot of time left. You don't have time to sit here, and I'm just gonna just share some of the things that women are sitting here allowing to hold themselves back. Some of you listening, you know, you're you're letting fear and lack, you know, I don't have the money, the money, and, and you're limiting yourself. Um this was so eye-opening to me. I have women saying they're not doing what they were meant to do because they don't know this. They don't know that. Um, I don't think I'm enough. I'm afraid of fill in the blank. Okay. I'm afraid of rejection, especially in direct sales. Rejection is very difficult because I'm sure as women, we experience a lot of rejection. I was born into rejection. I was born at the age of three. I was put in an orphanage by my birth mother. My life is full of rejection, rejected by a stepmother, often rejected by my own father because my life didn't look the way he thought it would look. But see, ladies, you have to develop within yourselves, the mindset, the wherewithal to know who you are. I've got my notes here because there's things like I get so pumped and I want to make sure that I, I, I say this. We even use things like I'm tired. I'm tired. Physical conditions hold us back from the abundance and prosperity that is ours when we Step into what we were meant to do. We get into not taking action, procrastinating because you've got so much, you get overwhelmed. And so instead of doing something, you do nothing. And the world misses out on the gift that is you. If you're in this group, you're going to hear me push that message over and over and over. 
because I am a messenger and you are not in this group by happenstance. If you are listening to this or watching the replay, this is not an accident that you showed up at this time to hear this message. You see, I make my notes, but then I invite God to come in here and take over because I am simply the vessel, just like you are simply the vessel. But what holds you back, sisters, is your ego, your ego. You have edged God out. You have allowed yourself, little self, to take over and run your life. And the little self wants to keep you playing small, wants to keep you comfortable, all for the sake that it thinks, because really, really it's your mind, your critter brain, all for the sake of keeping you safe. But see, when you play it safe, you miss out. You miss out. I saw a... Um, Somebody showed me a meme the other day, and that meme was so powerful. The image was so powerful because it was a person, and I know I'm going to mess it up, but basically it was a person who had lived their life, and they went up to heaven, okay? And the meme had uh, basically God was saying, I had all this and all this and all this for you. It was waiting here for you, but you were afraid. You were afraid. You see, what is waiting on the other side of fear for you, sister? What is waiting on the other side of procrastination? What is waiting on the other side of not enoughness? Your abundance, your prosperity, that life you say you want is waiting the moment you begin to take courageous action. You see, that's what this community is about. It's about being courageous. It's about speaking up when nobody else is speaking up. Because again, I'm glad I've got a lot of new girls coming in here, bringing some life. Because a lot of the women in here, they're silent. They're quiet. I ask a question. Um, I get a like or I get nothing, but I see you saw it. I see you saw it. But see, women of action, they'll speak up. They'll speak their truth. They'll go for that sale whether, whether or not they're going to be rejected. Because, see, rejection, especially in direct sales, it's not about you, sister. It's not about you. It's about them. Okay. Do they believe they're worth paying for your product? Do they believe they're worth spending the time it would take to use your product? Do they need more information about your product? Okay, but you have to come from that God space within, that place of service. When you come, because I hear some of you in direct sales and all you talk about is sell, 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 okay? You've got to come from serve, 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 because your business is simply a tool to reach people, change lives, change hearts. When you begin to come from that place and stop making it about you and about the women or men that you are called to serve, there will be a shift in your business. But right now, my point to you is, you don't have time to keep playing small. If you say you want whatever, are you willing to do the work? Are you willing to get out of your comfort zone and make it happen? Okay? God needs you. You are the hands and feet in this realm. You are the hands and feet. And you see, and I'm going to talk about my friend, my brother, the love of my life, Jesus. And you see, Jesus always knew who he was. When women work with me, the number one thing I teach is identity. 
identity because when you know who you are sister you live and walk this earth unapologetically you always live in your truth you always speak your truth and that's how jesus was jesus knew who he was he was grounded and aligned with that so he operated from his divine power that very power lives in you that ability to co-create with God, that power lives in you through the power of the Holy Spirit within. Greater is he that is in you, God, than he that is in the world, ego. You have a choice. Which one will you choose to live from? You see? When you really stand in that and own it, sisters, it'll be scary, yes, but use the energy of fear to catapult you to the next level in your business, to the next level in who you are. You have to learn to see the future you because that it really isn't the future you. It is the current you, you just haven't stepped into her. But when you can't see her, because I've had women, I do the, the I do future visionings with women and they can't see anything. So they're blocked from seeing her. And so you have to begin to take action. You have to begin to ask God to show you, show me that woman, God, show me who you called me to be. I only have 20 or 30 years left. And then when you think of those 20 or 30 years, how much energy will you have in those years? Because see, I'm going to get into what you have to start doing is you have to start changing your lifestyle. What are you putting in your body? Are you sleeping? Are you eating foods of the rainbow? Are you making time to socialize or are you always worrying about business, business, business? I know that was me. I'm not going to lie. That was me. And lately I said, you know what? You see me, you may see me getting out on my Facebook page because I decided I need to be around people, not to be like my girlfriend. She's always telling me, Dorothy Inez, you willing to die, die to be, <laughs> be around people. It's not, I'm being cautious, but I know my soul needs more than just talking through the computer. Okay. Who are you surrounding yourself with? Look at your top five people and you're the average of the top five. If you're hanging around women that are just, you know, they're commiserating with you about how their business sucks. And, oh, their back aches. They're this, they're girl, switch it up and watch what happens. Okay. Drink water. We are, we are literally many earths. Okay, we come from the earth and our bodies have the same composition of mass and water exactly like the earth. So water is life giving and it cleanses our body. It nourishes our joints and everything. Drink enough water, get enough sleep, get outside, get from in front of this computer, get from in front of the idiot, idiot box and get outside. Your body needs vitamin D. My functional medicine doctor just sent out a report and he said um, they just did a study and the study shows that vitamin D is key to fighting this COVID. They did some studies on that. So we need to be getting in our vitamin D via supplementation because I know a lot of us are not as out as much and then winter is coming. So get your, um, get out while you can and make sure you're supplementing. And then, like I said, who are you surrounded with? Do you need a coach? Do you need uh, um, a, a counselor to have somebody to bounce your thoughts off so it keeps your mental wellness? 
You know, having a coach, I'm telling you, it kicks me to the next level. You'll know when Dorothy Inez has a coach and when she doesn't. I haven't had a coach for a year. Um, I needed a break from coaches. And then I got this coach and God bought me, brought me the most amazing woman in my life right now. I am so blessed to have this woman as my coach. <clears throat> so find out what kind of help you need. And then lastly, that mindset. That mindset will do it every time. You know, I think that the, the greatest enemy is the one between your ears. This right here, your mind. You will talk yourself out of something before you even get started. You girls know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend like you don't know. I will share an idea with somebody, and before it even gets fully out my mouth, that person's coming back with some butts. Your butt will get in your way, girlfriend. It's time to release the butts. It's time to step into possibility and step into who you are because what you think about, you bring about. Learn to start seeing yourself through the eyes of God. Start practicing taking steps even though you're afraid because what that will do those of you that don't know, I'm a confidence expert. It's what I studied in school. Um, it's what my thesis work is on. And one of the, the number one thing that builds your confidence is creating small successes. So if you're in your direct sales business, you're in your regular business, ask yourself, how can I create little successes for myself that build confidence? Okay, so I hope this message blessed you. I hope that you are going to take some action. You're going to begin to change your lifestyle. Look at who you're surrounded with and look at ways you can begin to shift your mindset. Because if any of you are in your, I say like me, in your 40s or 50s, girl, you ain't got time to waste, okay? You are not in your 20s, okay, where you had time to play around, okay? You need to get with the program. You need to take courageous action. And I want to let you know that I have some things coming up, some challenges, uh, some challenges for you coming up here next month. It's my birthday month, you guys. I'll be 54, yes! Um, so I'm working on some things. I was up till two, two last night working on some things, getting, you know, things prepared, but <clears throat> I just love you and, and I love you. I really do love you. And I care because your vision, your call, your purpose, it is not your own. It is God's. And that moves me deeply. I don't know about you, but I don't want to go before the throne of God at the end of my days and say, well, God, I had all these gifts and talents and, you know, I had all this education, God, but I was scared. I didn't do anything with it. And he's like, well, girl, I had that house on the beach you were wanting, but... You had to do this, this, and this, and, and you were almost there, but you didn't because you were scared or you were thinking this or that or you procrastinated or you kept thinking you didn't know enough, you didn't have enough, you just were full of not enough. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not going to be me. You know, I, I, we've got to be willing to do our work. Are you willing to do your work. If you're willing to do your work, comment over here. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you took away and what action. Don't let this be another video. You just sat here and watched. I'm like, ooh, that was good, Dorothy Agnes. No, girl, get into action. Get an accountability buddy. Reach out to me. Let me know. Tell me. Put it in writing. What are you going to do? And I'm going to check in on you and see if you're doing it. So God bless you. Have a beautiful day. And I'm actually going to go see my counselor. <laughs> I love having a counselor. It's a nice, you know, place to go talk to somebody with no judgment. 
So I love you and all of you newbies to the community. Welcome. I'm so blessed that you're here. Have a good day, girls. Bye.